All right, this is a review of a double barrel percussion black powder pistol. Circa 1840. 1840. This thing is going on 200 years old. All right, before we get started, let's do a safety check. Now, the way I've been taught to do a safety check is to stick a rod down the barrel and then measure the barrel, make sure there's not a ball in it. So what we're going to do is stick this rod I found. Stop it right there. Compare it. Nope, there's no ball in that chamber. There's no ball in that chamber. So the pistol's safe. Also doesn't have any percussion caps on it. The thing about this pistol, uh, it's pretty heavy. It's got a five inch barrel. It is a 69 caliber pumpkin ball, buckshot, whatever you want to use. The um, two hammers, two triggers, the uh, left triggers for the left arm, and the right triggers for the right arm here. You get half cock, full cock, but you don't ever want to just let it slide down it'll hurt the nipple the um, I've seen this had some repairs to it this piece right here that holds the ramrod has been replaced this is a newer type of metal and then a little gap right there uh, also I can see that looks like the handle has been replaced and has a little repair right there like I said this gun is 1840 made by the uh, London Proof House uh, in London the safety right there on the other side the safety is broke uh, like I said it has a little bit of repair right there on the bottom part a little it's a nice repair and as much engraving is on this pistol this handle is probably uh, newer probably considerably still old but I do not believe this is the original handle because it'd probably be more ornate than this, considering all the um, scroll work on it. Another thing I've noticed is somebody, at some point, polished this thing up. It has a lot of um, marks on it where somebody probably used a wheel to polish it thinking they was actually helping and making it look prettier or something but actually just damage it more but what you would do if you just want to load it load your powder your wad, your ammo use the, the rod tamp it down tamp it down put your rod back in place made by the London Proof House and you can tell that by the proof stamps. I don't know if the camera picked that up. A V with a crown on it. That's London Proof House. There's another one right there. It's half. It's been uh, almost smoothed off and there's a third one. This is non-military private sale because of all the scroll work on it. There's no military marks on it. So this is probably a private sale to somebody and it may have been used for military a uh, little research I've done a lot of military guys back in the early 1800s early 1900s they would buy these pistols the private owned pistols and use them in military because they were just better it has a name written right there or some wording right there I, I, I can't I can't see it I've tried all kinds of different lights I can't see it it's like, looks like there was something written right there in between the two barrels too but it's been rubbed off years ago. But this thing is cool. Oh, it even has a uh, sight. The front sight has been worn off. A little gold bead there. But I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen this particular pistol on the internet anywhere. And I've done a couple of days worth of research. 
The only thing I could really find was the uh, proof marks, where they came from, and what year. So here you go. Here's the uh, double barrel black powder pistol from 1840. Uh, this thing was simply too cool not to put on the internet. And uh, it, I can't imagine how beautiful it used to be back in the day before somebody tried to clean it up. This thing has scroll work everywhere. Everywhere. And this handle probably was real ornate before it got replaced. But there you go. Here's my latest and greatest antique firearm from 1840. Double barrel black powder pistol. Thanks for watching.